welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers and thank you so much to the newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey by subscribing if you do hit that bell notification to be notified of my new uploads and please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video of course i thank every single one of you for all your support all the beautiful comments in the groups and on here thank you so much for being part of this journey with me and for encouraging me to continue on thank you from the bottom of my heart um, today we're going to create a beautiful doily now this doily that i'm going to create you can do it into a round rug by using a thicker size of thread if you're using yarn for the rug um, then you would need to buy the back part to stick it on the back part of the pattern in order not to slip not unless you're putting under some kind of a little table then you know it's not moving anywhere but if it's just to be a free space rug then you absolutely need something to support the back of the pattern in order not to slip and hurt yourself i'm going to do it in a small version as a doily because you can create doily and put it anywhere you'd like into the bedroom living room dining room any shelves any little tables counters uh, you name it and you could also make a table runner with it by doing adding two pieces together or three pieces together depending on the length of your table so we're going to get started this is 100 percent cotton thread this is a four ply four ply meaning for four strings for some of you that keep asking me what's a four ply needle size number three or hook number three i say always needle and a smaller one to tuck in loose ends and of course a pair of scissors um, i'm not sure yet at this point which other colors i'm going to use but i might use these two or I might use these too. I'm not sure yet. I'll see as I go. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and thank you so much again. So we're going to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is the magic ring. I think I need to move this one because it, it makes it very hard for you guys to see in a darker um, thread. So the magic ring would be just turn once like that. And you grab it. If you have a hard time with it, you can do a knot. And if you're just doing a regular knot like that, and you grab your thread or all of it like that into position in order to proceed with the stitch. So one, two, and three. The three equals a double crochet and pull on the thread a bit to have it a little bit more smaller. Okay, so we're going to do 24 double crochets inside of the magic circle and then coming to the end we're going to lock it up on the third chain that we created the very first one I'll meet you at the end after doing your 24 double crochets we're going to go up chain three and we're going to do one more inside of the same space and complete double crochet and one in the next space and complete double crochet so we're going to create little groups of three two we're going to do one two three chain we're going to skip a space on the next space double crochet and complete oops i was making a mistake there one on the same space again so it's two together and complete and then the next space is your third double crochet and complete and we close it one two and three and don't make it too tight please because we need it for the next row skip one next space double crochet and complete in the same space double crochet and complete and third space we're going to close it all together one two and three skip a space into the next space double crochet and complete same space double crochet and complete and next space double crochet incomplete and we close it together we're going to have eight groups of three double crochet incomplete three chain and one space skipped i'll meet you at the end 
Okay, so I finished creating my eight groups as you can see. And then I do one, two, and three. And you can see we have one skip space there. So we're going to lock it in right on the first one up here where we closed all the, the uh, incomplete double crochets together. Of course, my stitch always has to be extremely tight. I never learned my lesson. So it looks like a little hot at the beginning, but it's all going to fall into place once you start creating the, the next rows. So uh, third row, chain three. On the same space, we're going to create another double crochet. Chain two. We're going to create um, three double crochet in the center here. One, two, and three. Two chain separation. And in the center here, again, where we close the incomplete uh, double crochets, we're going to do another two, dub, um, two double crochets. So this row is going to be always like this, two chain again. And then here, we're going to do three double crochet. But I think I prefer it to be in the middle of the chain here. Sorry about that. Yes, that's what I wanted to mention earlier. Always look ahead of the video before you create anything to make sure that there's not a mistake or some changes will be added to the pattern. So just grab a, if you want to do it in the inside, go ahead. But I'm going to do my three double crochets inside of the same space in the center here because I want them together like that. And then two chain separation. And then here we're going to put two double crochets together. So I'm going to try to grab my, my thread here. One and two. Two chain. Again, I'm going to go right on the center of the chain. We did a three with three double crochets on the same space. I want them to stick together. And then one, two again. And we're going to come into the center where we closed off our double crochets. We're going to do two double crochets together. So this row is very simple. Two double crochets where we have the groups, two chain separation. In the center, we do three double crochets. You can go inside or do inside of the loop like I did. Two chain separation, two double crochets again on the same space, and then so on. So continue yours, and we're going to close up on the third chain. That we created the first double crochet. So I've closed in mine on the third chain where we first started. You'll probably see better once I've changed colors. This is just for the beginning that I'm using this color, okay? And probably towards the end uh, when I do the edge. Now, where we have these two uh double crochets this is always going to stay the same so you're going to do three chain and another double crochet on the same space so we're always going to have these two double crochets two chain now on the first one here we're going to do two together we're increasing now on the um on the double crochets here so two together, we started with three, now we're going to have five, okay? Two, three. Two, three. Four. And five. So you're going to increase two at the beginning, one on the center, and two at the end.
two chain. We're doing the two double crochets, one on top of the other, and two chain separation. Again, into the groups of three, where we have the three, we are going to do two double crochets on the first double crochet from the pre previous row, one in the center, and two double crochets at the end. So you're going to have a total of five all together. Okay. And then two chain again. Coming to the two double crochets, we're going to continue to do two double crochets. So two chain separation. Where we have the group of three double crochet, we're going to put two at the beginning on the same space, one in the middle, and two at the end. Okay, like that. So I'll meet you at the end. Now, because I don't want this uh, string from the magic ring to be bothering me, I am going with it through the back loops in the center here and hiding it and at the same time making it safe and secure that the pattern is never going to come apart when you wash it or if you're giving somebody and they wash it, right? So once I made my turn, I give it already a little knot. I'm secure that nothing's going to go anywhere. So coming along pretty good okay so then chain, we've closing with slip stitch on third chain one two three and again next space it's always going to stay two double crochet one two chain coming into the first group of five we're going to increase again two at the beginning and two at the end two next space three Next space four, next space five, and next space six, and one more in the same space, seven. So you're always going to increase two at the beginning and two at the end, two chain separation, and two double crochets where we have the two double crochets. It always stays the same, two chain separation, and again adding on the group two double crochet at the beginning we're gonna have a total of seven next space double crochet and next space double crochet next space double crochet and the last space we're doing two together because we are increasing so this is one two three four five this is row five okay Come to the end, close it on the third chain, go up chain three. So we just finished doing row five. We're going to go to the same um, to row six, seven, and eight are exactly the same thing as we've been doing. Okay, so row six, seven, eight is exactly the same thing as um, row four, row five, adding the okay. The two double crochets on the group so two double crochet two chain two added here in the beginning one per space and two at the end so now you're going to have a total of nine double crochets so we started with three we have five we have seven we have nine and we're going to continue on on row throughout row six row seven row eight is exactly the same way so i'll meet you at the end of row eight because there's no point of recording when it's exactly the same way okay so you always add two at the beginning two at the end two chain separation and two double crochets i'll meet you at the end of row eight Okay, you guys, so I pretty much finished my row eight. In row eight, you're supposed to have 13 double crochets. Now, if you're creating the rug, 
of course you're using a thicker thread so this obviously is going to be bigger and usually when I do rugs I like to use um, an 8 ply because it gives you a nice um, good amount I think it's like 115 120 centimeters um, all the way around so because this is a four ply obviously it's turned into a, do a doily but if you want your rug even though not 120 centimeters 115 you want it bigger then this is the time where you uh, extend the same way as we've been doing and you go bigger on here in order to extend the rug okay so as long as you have like uh, you can uh, by pair let's say so we stopped at row 8, that means you'd stop row 10 or row 12 or row 14, 16, 18. Um, usually a rug will go uh, for a co small coffee table would be, if you're using an 8-ply, it would be stopped at 16, 18, because then you have the other stitches that you need to fill up, right? So this is uh, row 8. So row 8, we're going to create five groups of uh, three double crochet so I'm going to go into the first one here slip stitch uh, single not slip stitch single and two chain on the same space double crochet so it's uh, two in the same space next phase we're going to do um, and I did wrong already don't it has to be incomplete sorry about that so we're going to do incomplete and then next space one double crochet incomplete and we're going to close it off and then we're going to do two um two chain okay and uh, we are going to go into the next one and do double crochet incomplete two in the same space and one on the next space and then we close it off one two chain we're going to skip one space moving into the next space and complete um, sorry, in the same space again and complete next space and complete and close it off so we have three one two again chain separation we skip one going to the next one double crochet and complete same space double crochet and complete and one more and complete two four one two we skip one and we go into the last one which will be your five double crochets and complete your groups of five so two on the same space or you can do one on the same so it can be the same thing as this one here so one on the space and the last double crochet here we're going to do two together and complete and close it off so now we got the group of five double crochets now we're going to do one two I'm going to do three chain we're going to come in the center here and we're going to do double crochet and then we're going to do five chain one two three four and five we're going to come into the next space here and do another double crochet so we're sort of creating like um, a little V if you want to put it and then again one two and three and we're going to repeat the same thing as we just finished doing here with the five groups of double crochet so incomplete next space and close it in two chain separation so you do exactly as you um, have it on here so you're going next space you do two next space one close it off one two and we're going to repeat this um, row the same way all the way around so uh, just look okay so we skip one we go here 
another double crochet and one next to it one two so you pretty much just look here um, what you have skipped so I'm going to skip this one I'm going into the next one one two and three so I want two three four two chain I'm going to skip one and now we're going into the last group so two at the end If you start seeing that it's, um, if it pleads a little bit here, it's because your circle is too tight in. It has to be um, looser so it can give space. Mine is just about right. But if it was like pleading too much, I would have to loosen the middle a little bit more. So three chain again, we're going to go into the group of twos, do a double crochet and five chain, two, three, four, and five. And another another double crochet. So we're creating a little V here. Three chain again. And starting our groups of five double crochet. Incomplete. Two on the same space. And one in the next space. Close it up. Two chain. Into the next space. And two. And next space. Three. Okay. So repeat the pattern. All the way around um, if you're not too comfortable with this too close to here you could always skip one and put three on the same space if you'd like uh, see if it looks better that way we probably could uh, do it that way too but I think it's it's fine the way it is uh, like I said if you're not too uh, comfortable with it we can I'll show you doesn't really change that much on the pattern, but anyway, depending sometimes on the thread that we use, sometimes it can show quite a bit. So you would skip one, you'd go here, and you do one, two, and three on the same place, and then one, two, and three. Skip one, two on the same place. And one right after. I think that's pretty good. One, two, and then skip one, two on the same space, next space, and then we have four. I think we'll do it this way. It looks pretty good. Sometimes you have to just go with the flow, right? And sometimes only when you're working it, then you realize that what looks best. So I think this way looks best. So you do two on the first one one on the, on the next one, two chains, skip a space, and three together on the same one, skip a space, two, and then one, skip a space, two, and then one, skip a space, one, and then two to be the same thing like the first one here. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Going into row 11, so I've closed in mine. Um, probably this time it's best to have the darker so you can see the stitch better. I think it shows better. And now we're going to go in the center of the first space here between the groups. And we're going to create one, two, and three. And we're going to do this incomplete. So we have three. We're going to close it. One, two, into the next space. And now we're going to have groups of four. So we're decreasing on row nine one two next space in between the groups two and three one two into the next space so we're doing incomplete two and three so we have four down. We started with five and now we got four. We're going to do one, two, and three. We're going to come into the center of this V. We're going to do um, nine double crochets. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we're going to repeat this row the same way all the way around. And then I'll come back to start row 10. So three chain again and proceed again with your groups of incomplete double crochet and two chain. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we're closing in on row 10 with a th uh, three chain. So we come and close it up on where we closed all the double crochets together. We're going to come into the center again. This time we're going to decrease to three groups. So chain three, double crochet incomplete, and another one incomplete. And close it off. Two chain. Next space, the same thing. I hope I don't have to put two videos out because really the, the sound really takes too much memory on my phone. It's crazy. Two chain. And three double crochets incomplete. One, two, and three chain separation. Now we're going to do one double crochet per, per double crochet. And two chain separation. One double crochet. Next space. Two chain separation. Next space. Double crochet. So we're going to have nine. Exactly the same thing as the previous row, but with two chain separation between them. So on the previous row, we have nine double crochets, and we're going to continue to have nine double crochets on this row, which is row 11. So you're going to have nine, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, three chain separation again, and create your groups of incomplete double crochet of three double crochet and close it all in. Two chain separation, and we're going to continue the same thing. So now you're supposed to have three groups of the double crochet here. Two chain separation and again one, two, and three. Three chain separation and we're going to continue with one double crochet per space, two chain separation and one double crochet. Okay, so this is row 11. Remembering that when you're doing bigger for the rug, obviously you're going to have um, also more groups in because it's bigger your piece, you know. But as long as you end up the same way, you know. Uh, so here we have one, two, three, four, five. So you're going to have like nine or you're going to have like um, 15, 17. So you can cut down, okay. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, going into row 9, 10, 11, row 12. Row 12, so I've closed in with a chain stitch, uh, not chain, well, yeah, chain slip stitch inside into the middle with a slip stitch, and again, we're decreasing again, and we're doing again the incomplete double crochet, two chain, Separation, next space, one, two, three. Close it all together, two chain separation. Well, actually, no, three chain, because we're doing the three. So we're doing one double crochet in, on top of the double crochet from the previous row. We're going to do three double crochets in here.
and one on top of the double crochet from the previous row and three in here so it's going to be like this throughout this um, motive here you do three inside and one on top of the um, double crochet from the previous row so very simple okay so three inside and one on top of the double crochet I'll meet you here at the end okay so I've done all my three inside per space one two three chain don't loosen it too much if your stitch is too loose then do only two chain okay we don't want it to be pleating up either okay so two chain separation here and we repeat the same process so very very simple one two three chain and continue again creating all of those double crochets inside of this piece here we're going to do three and then one on top of the double crochet from the previous row so in total you're supposed to have one two three four five six seven got lost there for a second one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Hope I didn't lose track. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. 33. Could that be possible? Let me just recount. I'm going to recount and come back to you. Yes, it's 33 double crochets. Okay. So again, like I said, we're just going to repeat the same pattern, exactly what we just finished doing. Three double crochets inside of the square space and one on top of the uh, double crochet from previous row so like I said if your chains are too loose then do only two and not three okay okay so we're going to row 13 I believe 9 10 11 12 13 so row 13 we're going in the center one two three we're going to do the three double crochet incomplete and close it at once. I'm going to do two chain, two chain. I'm going to do the first double crochet here. Now we're going to do nine double crochets, but we're going to line them up where these ones are. Okay. So one, two, and we're going to skip one, two, three on the fourth one. One, two skip one two three on the fourth one for some of you that it's too tight give three chain separation and for the very loose ones give two chain separation two i'm not tightening mine too much so that's why i'm giving two one two three on the fourth one so your double crochets your nine double crochets are going to be lined up with the bottom ones here okay one two and if you see it's pulling too much then do three double uh three chain separation so i'm going to see if mine is okay if it starts pulling which i can see it's pulling a little bit so i'm going to do a three chain separation because it's my my uh, stitch is too tight so i'm not going to loosen it up too much one two and three i'm going to skip one two three on the fourth one double crochet one two and three i'm going to one two three on the fourth one again one two and three and i'm tightening it up because i don't want it to lose one two three on the fourth one and we continue on I'm going to go right on top because I should have skipped three. 
And the fourth one, we go in. So you're supposed to have a total of nine double crochets like we had on row 11. So it's supposed to be like this. Now, don't worry if it stays like this. It's a little bit pleated up because it's going to straighten on the next row. Two chain separation. And we're doing the last group of the incomplete double crochet. And then again, two chain because we don't want it to be too, too baggy either. And continue on. One, two, and three. And again, you skip your three and you put on your fourth one. It should line up with the bottom double crochet. So I'll meet you at the end. So we are going to row 14. We are going to do one, two, and three. And we're going to repeat the same thing here. We're going to do three inside and one on top of the double crochet. Three double crochet inside. Same thing as we did here on row 11. Okay? And I'll meet you as soon as we get here. Okay, so we finished doing the three inside and one on top of the double crochet. So one, two, and three. We're going to come right here in the center where we closed off the double crochet. We're going to do a single one, two, and three, and proceed to continue the same way. One double crochet on top of the double crochet, and three inside of the square, like that. And then again, repeat the same thing until you get to the other one here, you're going to do the same thing. Chain three, single, chain three, and continue your groups. Okay, so we've reached the end of row 14. We're going to come right here where we did the, the first chain to go up. We're going to slip stitch. Now we're going to walk, I call it the walk. through the slip stitch here and we need to go to the first double crochet so we're going to walk through with a slip stitch like that and we're going to go right here to the first so one two and three and then one two three and four so we got seven because three is four the double crochet. Now if you find that it's too big, then instead of doing seven, we can do one, two, three, and then one, two, three, six. And then we gotta close it in if you find that it's too big. So let's try two and three. One, two, and three. I'm trying not to tighten it too much. So basically we're going to do the nine double crochets again like we did here. Because the next rows are different, so we're almost finishing up. So I'm going to keep it at three, I believe, but if I see if it's tightening up, I'll give one more. Two and three. Trying to loosen my three chain, two and three, one, two, and three, 
we don't want it to be pulling so since I have a tight stitch I'm trying to loosen this as much as I can so I think it's pretty good because once we're going to iron it too it's going to all fall into place okay now I'm going to do, let's see, one, two, and three. I'm going to go through here like this. One, two, and three. And to this one here, like that. And continue. So line them up, your nine. Double, double crochets lined up like these ones and I'll meet you at the end okay you guys going into the last row and this is row 16 if I'm not mistaken so 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 yeah. so you pretty much grab any square you would like I'm gonna come in with my blue, I'm going to do a single. I'm going to do a half double crochet. I'm going to do a double crochet. And I'm going to do a triple crochet. And I'm going to do a peacock, so three chain. And I'm going to slip stitch it because I don't want a separation. Again, triple crochet. So you're going to do the same thing down backwards. So we're going to do triple crochet, double crochet, a half crochet, and single. Oh my goodness, I got a knot here. Okay, I'm gonna take my knot. Finally got my knot out. Okay, so now I'm going to do next space a single, and next space again, we're gonna start over again. Now, if you find that it's pulling, too much okay so do one chain one chain go into a single one chain and then the next space you do a single a half a double crochet a triple crochet three chain for peacock and slip stitch it so we don't have a space in the middle triple crochet double crochet a half a single one chain and next space now this is pretty much it for this tutorial you can do whatever end you want to your edge I'm gonna do it this way so you could either do this way or if you have another plan you can do another way so I'm pretty much finished with this I'm going to finish up mine I'm gonna iron it nice and straight because now it looks all um, if you notice it looks all like pfft. but once you iron it and stretch it a bit with your hands it's going to come nice and straight okay so I thank every single one of you for being part of this journey I hope you liked this doily but in reality you can make a rug out of it and I will meet you until the next time the next tutorial thank you so much everybody God bless and please stay safe Thank you. I'll have the reveal shots at the end 
and probably a little video if it doesn't take too much space already out of my cell phone. Okay, thank you everyone. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to come back in here because I was finishing mine up. And if you notice, I have two space left. So in order to do that one chain, you can do it two ways. You can do your one chain right here. And you can do your group. Whoops. You can do your group uh, right in here, right on top of this double crochet. So no biggie. Things can happen. You know, these things I'm I'm not calculated. I'm you know doing as I go. So so you can have it done here. Or you could just uh, skip. I need to do a slip stitch here. No biggie. It's fixable. And the last single. And then proceed with one chain and one chain again and done. So just like that. Or you could have just jumped with your one chain and put it here and then one chain and go there. I'm going to leave mine like this because it's not noticeable and it works out just perfect. But like I said, if you want it, you can just jump from here with your one chain. Instead of putting the single here, you can put it here. What I find, it's probably going to cramp up too much. And if you give two chains, it's going to show too much, I think. But work it out. See what's best for you. Okay? Thank you so much, everyone. So as you can see. I pretty much did one chain and put it in here, one chain, and I went right on top of the double crochet. Did my group, one chain in the center, one chain, and I closed in. So no biggie. It's all fixable. Thank you, everyone.